We've seen wonderful lists of the most creative, bizarre, and quirky houses, and they're truly a marvel to see, but today, it's all about location, location, location. We put on our hiking boots, pack our backpacks, and go traveling to some of the strangest places on Earth where people have built their homes. Number 25. Pavement Special. Our first, and probably the most random, location is this sidewalk egg. Dai Haifei was a struggling architect from Beijing when he built his little home. It's not clear how he managed to get municipal permission, but he did. And he built this artistic installation slash bedroom right next to the road. It comes with solar panels, which provide enough power for a lamp and a PC, and he has planted grass seeds on outside of the pod so that he blends in a little better. Number 24. Send Me Directions Sure, drive to the edge of a small Serbian town and then paddle yourself across to my place. We guess if you were a kid growing up in this home, you never had any play dates. This house was built in 1968 and has stood on that rock in the middle of the River Drina ever since. Number 23. Home Sweet Home This is Long Studio, located on Fogo Island in Canada. It sits on stilts on top of a cliff and gives the owner the best view across the North Atlantic Ocean. The home now serves as an artist's studio, and it would be interesting to see what those breathtaking views inspire the artist to create. Number 22. Don't go chasing waterfalls. You'd feel like you were in some sort of fairy tale living in this surreal waterfall home. It was designed by Frank Lloyd Wright in 1935, and it's located in rural southwestern Pennsylvania. It was merely a weekend home for the owner of the Kaufman department store. Time called Wright's creation the most beautiful job, and it was listed on Smithsonian's list of 28 places to visit before you die. Number 21. East, West, Home's Best Would you still feel that way if you were sitting in your home located 140 feet in the air? If you head deep into the heart of New Guinea, you'll come across these tree houses built by the local Korowai communities. They've been building these houses for centuries, and they're the best protection from predators or rival tribes. On a side note, the Korowai only made contact with the outside world for the first time in 1974. Number 20. Yabba Dabba Doo Stare all you want, you won't catch the Flintstones leaving this stone house. This is the Casa de Penedo, otherwise known as the House of Stone. It's located in the Faith Mountains of Portugal, and has bulletproof windows and doors, as well as a swimming pool. It used to be a holiday home, but is now a little museum. Number 19. A place to call home Even though our next home is situated in Warsaw, Poland, which is not that peculiar, it's the fact that it's literally squashed between two buildings that makes it so unusual. It's four feet across at its widest and a mere 28 inches at its narrowest. Number 18. For the converted and by converted, we're referring to this beautiful church that has been converted into a modern family home over in Holland. It was converted by Zeck Architects, and according to Home Design, there are hundreds of empty churches in Holland, similar to this one, that are being destroyed or converted to serve other purposes. Number 17. A Rocky Start The Kandavan village in Iran has been around for more than 700 years and was formed naturally from volcanic ash and debris. People sought shelter in those caves when the Mongol army were advancing, and they just never left. The homes are between two and four stories high, have porches, flights of stairs, and windows fitted with modern glass. It's not every day you can claim to live inside volcanic ash, right? Number 16. Going down. Meet Bohumil Lota, a 73-year-old builder who began building his home underground back in 1981. The house benefits from the cooler ground temperatures that nature offers for free. With the touch of a button, Loda can adjust the height of his Czech Republic home so that it moves either up or down, or rotates on its side. He can ensure he always has the best view by far. Number 15. Home of Ice And built with all heart. This ice home was built by Jimmy Gray, who said he needed a project to keep him busy as he had been out of work for 12 months. They had had quite a heavy snowfall one year in Cleveland, so he built this little igloo in his parents' backyard. The house boasted four rooms, six-foot-high ceilings, and even an entertainment area with a working television and surround sound. For extra ambiance, candles were added to the dwelling, and of course, the beer was always cold for any visitors, which we're sure he had plenty of. Number 14. Home and Dry For more than 100 years, people have been living underground in Cooper Petty. 80% of the people have moved there to escape the scorching temperatures that occur in the opal mining town. It's not just one or two homes, but an entire town. They have bars, clubs, bookstores, coffee shops, internet, water, electricity, basically every amenity you'd expect from a small town, except sunlight. Number 13. 
homegrown. Before we knew too much about turning our homes into eco-friendlier versions, Icelanders were already far ahead in the game. They used the Earth's natural dirt to insulate their homes, which means once the grass starts growing, you're blending in with the landscape beautifully. Also bear in mind that building materials are not easy to come by in more remote areas, so this is the perfect solution. By owning one of these homes, you will blend right in. Number 12. Ready for takeoff. This Boeing 727 hotel in Costa Rica is located deep in the heart of the jungle. So not only are you heading into the seriously awesome location of a jungle, but you can also brag that you've overnighted in a disused airplane flew from South Africa to Colombia once upon a time. Many amazing conversions have taken place in old aircraft, from restaurants to homes, hotels, and even a kindergarten. Number 11. Rock On Over in Utah, you'll find homes that have been blasted into a rock wall that form part of the Rockland Ranch community. Around 100 people live there, and the area was founded 35 years ago. Number 10. Cliffhanger Although Zhuang Kongxi is actually a monastery, we've added it to our list today because technically it is home to the monks that reside there. This particular mountain is considered sacred and the monastery in mid-air has been hanging there since 491 AD. To this day, architects are in awe of how they managed to get these dwellings to hang like this off the side of the cliff. They do know how it was done, but it's remarkable that they were even able to do so. They were built high up as either a defense mechanism against marauders or to protect themselves from floods. Number 9. Home is where the heart is. This big house is located on an archipelago in Iceland. An incredible view from above, but you'll never be allowed to visit there. It was built in the 1700s, and at that time, five families lived on this small island. The house is now owned by a hunting club, and you have to be a member to get there. They don't have electricity, but fortunately, they do have a sauna. Number 8. Oh, the places you'll go. Over in northern England, these tree houses served as a form of protest. The residents of the tree houses built them to prevent authorities from quarrying for gritstone in the historic Nine Ladies Sit in Stanton Lees. Number 7. Time to go home. This is the Brooklyn Clock Tower home, and it's got a hefty price tag attached to it. It costs $15 million and offers the lucky owners a view of Manhattan, Brooklyn, and Queens. It's 6,813 square feet, and at one stage was being rented out for $50,000 a month. Number 6. Welcome Home Built in the 1700s, let's take a walk around Yemen's Dar al-Hajar Palace. The more modern part on top of the hill was built in the 1930s by Yahya Muhammad Hamidin, an Islamic spiritual leader. The rooms of the palace are built into the side of a tall rock spire, and you can buy a ticket and walk through this five-story rock palace. Number 5. The House of the Rising Sun Although it's uninhabited, this is just worth a share because it's so bizarre. It's known as the Floating Castle near Krasnosilka in Ukraine, and is actually an abandoned granary. Number 4. Home is where you lay your hat. We head to Tunisia and pop in for tea at Madmata. Thought to date back to Roman times, inhabitants have dug these monstrous pits into the ground and tunneled into the sides to create their living space. Nobody really knew about this place until the mid-60s, and that was thanks to the Star Wars film A New Hope, where Luke Skywalker made his home on the planet Tatooine. Why they are built like this is not certain, but it could possibly have been to hide from the Egyptians, or some like to believe that desert monsters used to live in those underground tunnels. Number 3. Head for the Hills Admittedly, it's not a house, but a hotel, but the location is most certainly surreal. The Solvay Hut is located at 13,000 feet on the Matterhorn in Switzerland. It offers a resting place for weary hikers. Number 2. House on a Hill In this case, it would be more of a case of house in a hill. This was the creation of Search and Christian Muller Architects, and the entire home is built into a hill. The shape allows for lots of natural light to filter into the home, exquisite panoramic views, and loads of shelter. Number 1. Halfway House This little house is situated on the Thousand Islands that is between the U.S.-Canadian border on the St. Lawrence River. It's called Just Room Enough Island. When the tide is low, the family can take out their deck chairs and enjoy their own private beach. But when it's high, the water often laps right over the house's walls. This is the perfect solution if you're just not that into your neighbors. Which of these locations would you find the ideal spot 
to build your home. Let us know in the comments below and subscribe to our channel for more interesting videos just like this one. Thanks for watching. Thank <laughs> you.